Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> ah, you, 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 wanna hear, you, are, you are ready to share the, my message. Thank you, Lord. Give glory. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's my pleasure. This is, this is my is, is a wonderful pleasure. You want to listen and and you want to get to receive the grace of the word of God and share the word of God with me. That, that is just my joy. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's why I'm preaching today. Today is the uh, topic of the last day, the sign of the last day. Jesus Christ gave the disciple, you know, uh, the, the, the disciple said, What would be sign in the last time you come? What, what is that sign? Jesus Christ gave a lot of sign. But today, I want to tell you, uh, the, the three signs Jesus Christ specifically gave the told the disciples, three specific signs which it, it has been happened this day. Well, where we are now, we see that in the phenomenon as uh, reality. We are seeing now. Yeah. You understand, I understand. We realize what Jesus Christ prophesied, the sign that uh, in going to happen, preceded. the return of Jesus Christ on the second coming. Hmm? So, so I want to, before I go to preaching start, I want to share the word of God, verse 24, 33 to 34. Now learn of parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tend and put forth the leaves, you know. I know, you know. Yeah, I know. All right. Oh, all right. You know, I know. We know, see now. Okay. Then summer is near. You know the season. I know the season. Hmm? When we see the weather. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that is near right at the door. What this parable, the sermon Jesus Christ, which that gave the disciples when the, the disciples asked, What is the sign? The last today. Huh? Oh, It's many specific signs to watch for that would to show when he was about to return in all his glory. We see these signs. I'm going to tell you just the three signs just gave us. Signs, you know, you know what Jesus Christ said, and you realize, ah, and understand this science. You have experienced now. Hmm? I want to point to these three signs Christ gave. Hmm? So, bless you. 24, you know, reveals the sequence of end time events that precede the return of Jesus Christ. We are waiting. We are eagerly waiting. It's second coming. That's where we are living. You hear me? Oh, Maranatha, Jesus Christ, come and rule this world, evil world. Destroy all our enemies. 
we are going to live forever ever with you. That we are our hope. Hmm? Everlasting hope. Just because it gave. Jesus Christ coming this earth in power and glory. It reveals on key sign of the looming trouble. Looming trouble. Hmm? Okay, I will, uh, let me tell you more. Luke's gospel account provides more clearly. When you shall see Jerusalem, Come pass with armies. Then know that the desolation, desolation is near. Look, Tony, one chapter thirty. A uh, Tony. Abomination of desolation. Abomination, desolation. Daniel already has. Prophesy. Desolation is uh, abomination of desolation. Is when listen, M European army now EU European army, not Arab countries army. Don't confuse you. Not Arab army. European army. Surround Jerusalem. Hmm. This European power oh, is the resurrection of the Holy Roman Empire. Poised to destroy to destroy the world. Antichrist, I'm talking to you. Hmm? All right. Uh, so, that is the first sign. I, I've told you, Jesus Christ gave the three signs. I want to preach it. The first sign I'm preaching now is uh, 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 the, the false prophet. But I want to tell you, about this, about this deception by the false prop, then I'm going to back what I had been told, Antichrist, yeah. Let me preach falsely that Jesus Christ gave the, the primary sign to disciple. Be careful, watch it. False prophet, deception. In the last days, many, many false prophets will come out and deceive the, the people who believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hmm? So, you know, verse 24, chapter 4, through the 5, Jesus Christ said, this is my brother and sister. Jesus answered. When the uh, disciple asked, what, what sign would to be happened in the last day? This is primary sign just for the Gabriel. Take a heed. Watch it. That no man deceive you. For many many shall come in my name my name Jesus name saying I am Christ and they shall deceive many people look at the world many many false prophet false pastor which had a mask Hmm? Sheep in, in outside, 
Ship shape. Shape of ship in outside. But ulb in inside. Jesus Christ said that false pride. They're going to lie, lead, destruction way, going to kill the they got money. False pride, but finally their purpose is money to get from the people. Hmm? Don't follow. Don't go there. Huh? You don't have to go there. You don't have to follow. You don't, you don't want to listen to false prophet. Hmm? You have to watch and wake. Always listen to the truth of the world. What Holy Spirit is going to say. Don't listen. Another voice. Jesus Christ, only my sheep knows my voice. Don't listen to other voices except the voice of the Jesus Christ. Many false religious teachers would preach the message. Yeah. One message about the Christ. Yeah, they speak to Christ, but listen, I'm not finished yet. But listen carefully. They don't preach the blood of Jesus Christ. They don't preach the what Jesus Christ taught the people in the Bible. They don't teach it. Their message about the uh, focus on the other thing people love. People want to hear. Like money, like fame. Hmm? That's why people are deceiving and going to follow. There are many Christian churches, and many, many churches in now that preach about the Christ and ignore his message that false prophets are doing, preaching. They even know. They don't care what Jesus Christ told the true message to the people. They go to their boys. He's a warning of deception. Deception in less than big watch. Jesus Christ the one. Many, many false pride came out in the last day. This is a false primary warning by Jesus Christ. De be careful, deception, don't be deceived. Don't follow that false prophet. Hmm? Because Satan, Satan, listen me, Satan is going to masquerade angel Bible say second Corinthians eleven chapter fourteen angel of the devil it masquerade the angel of the truth. Hmm? Their end will be what their action deserve. Finally, they are going to false prophet, going to lake of fire with Satan. Last day, you know, Revelation said. Hallelujah, pray. All right, I'm going to move top. Another sign, Jesus Christ gave the disciples second sign specific I, I'm telling you just a specific sign Jesus Christ told many many signs the last day but today 
I want to tell you, to the signs, I'm going to second sign, just, Jesus Christ, they gave it. I'm going to tell you, nuclear weapon. I've told you that uh, a little bit first time, beginning of this sermon, I, I just gave a little bit, but I'm going to continue with the second sign. Listen, please. Watch for that's very very important word we should think about because that it's going to happen now we are seeing now every day yeah you Korea you Korea what going to happen you huh? Korea weapon threatened to every nation this time. I'm going to destroy all humanity. Hmm? Oh, still many prophets actually speak of nuclear bamboo wrecking untold destruction, hmm? including Christ's prophecy that it very, very significant Prophets by Jesus Christ the last day concerning nuclear weapon. We should know. Many people don't understand, but you're gonna understand. I I'm gonna tell you this. Please understand. Meditate this scripture and considering the situation, this world, that what's going on now. Look at the world. Matthew 24, chapter 21, 22. Huh? Oh, all right. I, 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 uh, for then shall be great tribulation, such as such as was not since the beginning of the world. Are you listening? I didn't say it. Christ said, prophesied, this, this time, just this, this time. Since the beginning of the world to this time, no, no one ever shall be for the sake like you, Christ, children of God, I will shorten the days of this destruction. What that mean? Jesus Christ, this is the second coming. They're talking about second coming. Jesus Christ they will come. Revelation 1911, with the victory and the great the glory of God. Jesus Christ will come with his saints to destroy the, all the enemy, Antichrist enemy. What is Antichrist enemy? Let me tell you. King of South. Representative representative Europe nation, 10 nation, Antichrist, going appreciated, united with King of South, that leading by Iran, Iran, number one, Sponsor of terrorism, this world. You know, North Korea support. I don't know. They work together, war game with nuclear bomb. We have to watch. Hmm. All right. All right. Ten nation. So, king of north, king of south, 
working together, then another power that is coming from East, East. East. Revelation 16 says, hmm? I believe China and Russia joined those armies, King of North, King of South, together, going to invade Jerusalem to destroy Israel. That is Armageddon. Okay, what is the ten countries? Ten horns, Revelation 13, 17, Daniel 7, already prophesied. Ten nations, which ten horns represent ten horns. Beast had ten horns. Daniel 7. Revelation 13. Beast has ten horns, which is ten hills. They are ten kings of nations. Ten nations, they're going to attack with the king of the south, Iran, and other other uh, 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 Middle East nation, ten nation. That I'm going to tell you, according to Psalm 83, chapter four to five, it's coming ten nation which join together EU nation and Russia and China. They're going to invade. Jerusalem destroy Israel. That is third three. We called Armageddon last war in, in human history. Ten nations. Uh, I just tell you the, the few nations. You, I want you to read the, the Psalm eighty three, like like uh, 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 the. Uh, the Jordan, Jordan, Syria, and Libya, uh, and Saudi Arabia, uh, and uh, Turkey, yeah, yeah, all the nation, Arab countries, going to operate the with those power. Yeah, I want you to uh, some A city. All right. The doomsday will come. Hmm? Yeah, you going to will start uh, World War Three I'm a girl. Uh, so we have brought doom. Huh? Upon ourselves, because the weapon of the war, huh? every weapon mankind has make we have always used in history. Guys. So now we're going to use mass destruction weapon. Nuclear bomb, it, it, tremendous power, it's going to kill the people. Let me tell you. By the way, First World War, what, how many people were killed? 18, 18 million people were killed. Second World War, 58 million people were killed. All right. Third World War, I'm going to was going to kill one third of the population, which is 2,5 billion people were killed. One third of the population of the world will be killed. The Bible said, the revelation, you can see. Huh? Huh? You understand? 
All right, there's much time to this story to going to speak. I'm going to move to another topic. Oh. Huh? So, okay. Ah, uh, uh, too much time. Oh. Todo. Todo. Todo sign, yes. Totally, I'm going to tell you this. Just because he gave last day sign. I, talking about uh, moral, morality. The society in nation today is uh, like the days of Noah. Just like the days of Noah. We see. Verse yeah. 24, chapter 37 to 39. Listen. Noah spent 100 years building on ark and warning that God would send a great flood which would draw the entire world. Yeah. People turned and scorned. Uh, that, that I'm talking about uh, Noah's time. Jesus hmm? Christ, the example of the Noah's time compared to these days. Uh, All right. Uh, look at uh, this world. All right. Uh, I want to tell you the Genesis 6 chapter. Five, God said at no times before judgment, God came to the people where they lived at no time. And God saw that the weakness of the man was great in the, in the earth, and every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continually, evil continually. Huh? That is exactly the truth we are thinking. Just look at the people, they are filled with by evil thoughts all the time. 24 hours, 7 days, 365 days a year, they are thinking of the evil thoughts they're going to bad behavior, they commit the other, they, they deceive, they going to cheat each other, fighting each other, hate each other, which is against the God's love, God's commandment. Shuman hmm? Ma, you know the more. You know, you know, you know we have to think, we have to think, think about, have to pray. The human mind, God created. God did not create like that because Adam, Eve, deprived. He, he did not obey God's command. That's why we are suffering now. The human mind itself is incapable of conceiving anything anything righteous. Hmm? Christ said the society, society would be same today that I'm talking over and over like Noah times. Hmm? God is showing his love by trying to save mankind from their nuclear bomb, but they only listen. They only listen. In the in all the time, there is times God, God had a judgment by the world like Noah's flow. Last day, God gonna judge the fire, which is a nuclear bomb that we are seeing now. You can give them all this fact, the information, and the proof. That, that's why I want to tell you as a conclusion this summer. You can tell your friends, your people, everything unbelievable. 
You can tell these proof they could possibly need, but they only listen at like lower times. I understand, but we have to try to to listen and persuade them. The time is near; just it's coming, and judgment of God is at the hand. You should listen. You should caution and go to right it. Turn the your way where you used to go. God said, "I understand." They don't. Jesus Christ only prophesied the last day situation. They don't. They only listen. What you gonna say? The truth of what Jesus Christ said. But we have to pray. They going to refuse to heed God's warning. But we have to understand. They're gonna pay the pay the heavy price. What what is the heavy price? The Bible says going to hell. Everlasting hell, everlasting fire, never quenched the fire. Even bigot has not died. But you and me go to heaven, everlasting fire. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, but listen, this is my brother, sister. Oh, even the nation will not listen to what God had, what God to warning. Hmm? Virtually. It is guaranteed. Yeah, Bible already understood. It prophesied. Nation will not understand. They do not listen. God's own, like North Korea, like another Muslim country. That's why I talk to nation. Nation. The Bible said. Bible said, I told the Armageddon war. That Armageddon war is going to happen by those Muslim countries, Europe, nation, Roman Catholic, the biggest head of this world right now, they're going to attack the Jerusalem, destroy the Israel. It, it's Armageddon world. But they don't want to forget it, the nation. I'm talking with individually. I'm talking to you, just you talking to you. We have to pray for the nation where you are living now and individually to pray even they don't listen, God going to bless you. God going to use through to you. And you going to gospel and the same with all the people. You going to hear that the grace of the God through to you. You going to God pick up to you as a, his basement, his vessel, and preaching the, in the ever gospel that they should be listened. Hallelujah. This pro claim you're going to preach it will be great, hallelujah, God going to listen to your word will be great in the world, hallelujah, that I am print as a, this sermon, you want to listen, hallelujah, oh, I pray that, that. You know, we don't worry about Armageddon of the evil empire, because we are empire in heaven waiting for you, bye-bye, hallelujah, pray the Lord, amen, see you later next time, bye-bye,